so welcome back uh, we are back with another web dashboard which is created by using the google sheet as a database and google web app script so this is a cms based web dashboard a check management system so you can see this is a dashboard and in dashboard you can take overview of the complete system statuses and in the sidebar you can see there's a lot of options let we explore everything step by step so first of all we will go to the check section and in the check section you can see these are all the checks which is available in our database and if you want to add a new check you can simply click on this add new and here you can apply the searchable drop down let's take example i want to search 10 and you can see the company 10 is available and the question is that how you can add your own company and your own pay name just go to your company sections and same with the banks you can select the bank from here and the check number is automatically comes here and you can also uh, uh, add the check date and the amount of that particular check which you want to issue and the status of the check is issued clear or anything and if you want to add a reminder you can simply add a reminder as well and if you want to add a description you can also add the demo description here and uh, you can easily save them and when you click on this save this data will be saved in your google sheet and now you can able to see here your check is created successfully or you can simply print check or you can print the vouchers as well okay so this is your thing so there is a one thing uh, with your check print print system what exactly is this you just go to your bank section and when you go to your bank section and here you will see these are the banks which is available for your drop down and you can also add the layout of the check systems here so you can see this is the check size for the bank 5 it is a letter and for the bank 4 it is the A4 size and for the bank 1 it is the custom so we understand this sir but what happened we want to print the check we have note right now so you need to configure it just go to your layout and here you can also apply the checks like take example your date field is how much exposition y position the font size and everything you can apply here and click on this save configurations and when you click on this save configuration so your check uh, your check design is configured out successfully and you can see your check size is this and when you click on this print and you can see here this is your test print and when you click on this test print so your test print will be created out successfully and this is your check here okay again you can see this is your check and again in the company section when you go you can simply add manage or delete the companies but here's one more thing for example this is a company one and if this company ones have how many checks there are one checks only how much total amount of this particular check this is the particular amount and you can count and the pending and also you can check all the you can verify all the checks which is linked to this company and you can also print the statement of this company as well so this is your company statement and also if you want to create a new check for this company you can also create it as well from here and if you want to see all check of this particular company you can simply click on this all check so you can easily able to see all the checks so one thing you will be confused before that here's a lot of data but now it is only three data because i have deleted the data from this particular uh, sheets so that's why you can only see able to this particular data so you can see this is a company too and this is a bank too so first of all we just need to go to the bank section and we will check it out bank too and click on this layout and uh, you can see uh, simply click on this save configurations and when you click on this save configuration uh, configurations just go to the check and now click on this print and when you click on this print now your check is being printed here successfully so this is your check you can easily do that and if you want to view you can simply view the check and if you want to edit you can simply edit the check as well so in the users section you can easily add or delete the users okay so you all know and in the settings section so you can see this is your setting sections where you can where you can do something interesting where you can schedule the emails what schedule the emails in the check section you will see we have added a reminder date optional so 
on this date the email will be delivered to that particular person and also you can see this is a check date and on that particular check date the email will be received as well just go to your settings and which person need to get this particular emails and i just uh, simply add my email here for the testing purposes i just forgot my own email See, there's a too much cold i can't able to write on the keyboard as well okay so this is you can see email addresses saved successfully and if you want to send the test email you can also send the test email to check that the functionality is working or not and you can easily check that function is working or not let me check it down and uh, we just go to our email and in the send sections and you can see this is your weekly check reports as well so you can also see this is working successfully so this is a, a this web dashboard is for your learning purposes and uh, this source code is available for your download and available in the description you can simply uh, explore the description and find the link of this particular google sheet and hope you will enjoy it and the thing is that how you can set up it so you just uh, whenever uh, you go to the description you will see this kind of url uh, you will get this kind of URL and when you open this URL you will see this kind of screen and just simply click on this make a copy and when you click on this make a copy so now that particular Google sheet will be copied in your Google Drive and now the source code is also copied in your Google Drive so you after that what you need to do simply click on this extensions and click on this app script so when you click on this app script so now you can able to see here your code.js and index.html is already there what you need to do simply click on this deploy and click on this new deployment and when you click on this new deployment here you select here anyone and click on this deploy and when you click on this deploy it will ask you to grant a permission you can simply allow them and after that uh, it will give you a web app url and you can simply use that particular url to share it with your users and your admins and everything just simply click on this advanced and click on this go to e12 and click on this select all and continue and when you click on this continue now your web application your check management system is being successfully being deployed and you can easily run it on your windows on your mobile phones or etc where you want to use it okay so you can simply open them and use it so now the thing is that we have not tested the user so i just log in as a you i will log in now for as a user so this is my user and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in so as of now you can see it's authenticating and the user panel will also get the same functionalities and features i already told to you this web application has a lot of technical terms so this the source code is available for your learning purposes so just go to the description and check this google sheet url and uh, learn the code and check the coding and try to learn it thank you very much